Jesus was born and lived and died like any human being. The child, the child called Yeshua, which would have been his name, entered the world as helpless as any newborn and just as dependent on his parents. He needed to be nursed, held, fed, burped, and changed. Although I don't want to think about what diapers were like in first century Nazareth. <laughs> probably made of wood. Um, <laughs> <laughs> or burlap. Uh, <laughs> as a boy growing up in the tiny town of Nazareth, more about that later, he skinned his knees. He bumped his head on doorways. He pricked his fingers on thorns. He watched the sun rise and set over the Galilean countryside. He wondered how far away the moon was. And he asked his parents why the stars twinkled. Jesus had a body like yours and mine, right? Which means he ate, he drank, he slept. He experienced sexual longings and urges. He was human. He felt joy and sadness. We know that he wept, right? We know that from the story of Lazarus. He laughed, too, because he was a human being. He felt frustration and enthusiasm. He grew tired at the end of a long day. We know he falls asleep in the boat, right? He gets sick. Two years ago, uh, believe it or not, um, I was, uh, this is not the believe it or not part, uh, our, um, Jesuit community was uh, afflicted by a norovirus, you know, and if there are any religious here, you know that if one person in your religious community gets sick, everyone gets sick, right? So one night when I was um, hunched over the toilet uh, for the fifth time, I had a thought, and the thought was, um, Jesus did this. <laughs> I'm going to just be blunt. Jesus threw up. People, go, sometimes I say that in churches, they go, oh, you know. <laughs> he threw up. He threw up. He went to the bathroom. I mean, he was human. He was a human being. He's like us in all things except sin.